everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here. Welcome, today's video is for all you beginner vegans, people who are veg curious, veg friendly, or wanting to be more plant-based, and you're wondering how to get started or what information you need to get going. So, if that's you, this video is for you. First of all, Google and YouTube is your friend. Do your research. Second, eat a lot. Vegan doesn't mean eating less, it actually means eating more because vegan foods are, are plants and plants are more fibrous and most of the time are lower in calories. So eat your food because who doesn't like to eat more awesome food? Third, starches and carbs are your friend. I love them and I eat a bountiful amount of my starches and carbs. They're delicious. Four, eat lots of fruits and veggies. This one may seem obvious, but a lot of people are scared of fruit. Don't be scared of fruit. Again, fruits are your friend. Five, don't let anybody scare you out of veganism. A lot of people just haven't really done their own research and they just pass down information that they may have learned or maybe not even learned, just what they had seen of their parents teaching them or what their parents fed them. And it's just a vicious cycle. Number six, there is no such thing as a protein deficiency unless you are calorically deficient, meaning you're not eating enough calories in a day, period. There isn't even a medical term for protein deficiency. My point is you can get more than enough protein by just eating fruits and veggies, but for your sanity and because everyone will be asking you where you get your protein, you can tell them every plant food has protein. Protein rich plant foods are beans, seeds, legumes, leafy greens, nuts, quinoa, green peas, the list goes on. Just remember you have to eat enough food. You have to be full. Your belly has to be happy. If you're eating enough food, you are not protein deficient. Seven, if you are really craving meat-like things or cheese-like things, don't you worry because there are tons of amazing substitutes. Now, when I first went vegan, I was terrified of substitutes and the alternatives because I was definitely one of those people who was like, tofu, ah, you know, like scary horror sound. But really, actually, now I love tofu and I understand what it is and how to eat it, how to cook it, all this stuff. For the first year of being vegan, I actually didn't try any vegan alternatives for milk, cheese, or meat, which is probably for the best because I was primarily eating a whole foods plant-based diet, which I definitely recommend. However, I'll admit, sometimes I get the cravings. So if that's you, you're in luck because there are tons of vegan cheeses, vegan meat alternatives, etc. A good brand for vegan cheese is Follow Your Heart. I love Follow Your Heart. They have amazing cheddar, mozzarella, parmesan. A good butter alternative is Earth Balance. Actually, my non-vegan family members love Earth Balance and that's pretty much all they use. If you love cream cheese, then you will love Tofuti brand. There's Kite Hill. Um, there's a bunch of brands, but uh, that's typically the one I go for is the Tofuti one. And guys, I die over my uh, coffee creamer. It is delicious. It is silk caramel creamer. And obviously things like milk pretty obvious what to change that for. Almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, rice milk, oat milk. The options are endless. And there are countless amounts of vegan meat alternatives. The one that I recommend that has the widest variety and the most bang for your buck and tastes pretty dang similar to meat is Guardian. Guardian. I still can't get that. I don't know. Somebody tell me how to say it correctly. Anyway, Guardian. It's so good, I love it. But of course there's Light Life and the Beyond Burger, which you can now get in a lot of grocery stores and that literally tastes just like a burger. It's kind of weird, but amazing. But do your own research on what kind of substitute meats that you might like. Number eight, a lot of people ask me, is being vegan hard? And honestly, no. Once you know and see what you can eat versus what you can't, it's pretty simple. Lastly, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't give up. You are amazing. This is a learning process and good on you. By going more plant-based or going vegan, you are doing amazing things for your health, for the world around you, the environment, people, animals, and I'm proud of you. So there are a couple 
resources that I can point you to. First of all, if you want to see what's in my personal fridge or my pantry, I have those videos on this channel and you can check it out. A couple other videos to watch here on YouTube, well, countless amount of amazing YouTubers, but specifically educational videos, I would recommend 101 Reasons to Go Vegan and the best speech you'll ever hear. I'll link them down below. There are, of course, documentaries on Netflix that I highly recommend. What the Hell, Forks Over Knives, Cowspiracy, Earthlings, and more. Again, there are tons of recipes out there. There's Minimalist Baker, Oh She Glows. I honestly love just Googling a recipe and substituting things out myself. Forks Over Knives actually has a really good recipe section on their website. And again, there are tons of YouTubers out there that have amazing recipes and eBooks like Ellen Fisher, Bonnie Rebecca, Lonnie Jane, and so much more. Well, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. And again, I'm so proud of you. You can do this. I believe in you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll be answering as thoroughly as possible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me a ton. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching you guys and until next time.